I'd love to respond to a number of issues that have been addressed by, my, by the speakers, which are very interesting. At the very beginning, I'd like to give you some background, perhaps, uh, why things are as they are. And I think I can tell you a good story and I give you some hope, perhaps, uh, in the end, things are not, uh, don't look that bad at the moment as uh, they appeared in the Financial Times. So, some words about German Property Federation, about uh, the background of BaFin consultation, which is the uh, German, supposed to be German, AIFM Transformation Act, um, the BaFin consultation, and uh, with a specific uh, notice to listed company and real estate investment trusts. So we can speculate on impacts a little. Um, so, why are things as they are? This is the beginning of German real estate policy. Germany, after the war, needed um, room for living, residential. So um, this was German policy focus for more than 20 years, and to some extent it has been ever since. At least uh, the knowledge uh, of our um, colleagues in parliament and the administrations uh, stopped at this problem. While we are now here, uh, and this may account for a well some of the problems we now have uh, and with a poor I can say poor state of education of um, um, of Germany's policymakers with regard to property and real estate um, the German property Federation has been founded to address this problem a uh, very very young uh, association actually in 2006 uh, we wanted to uh, have a full-scale representation of the German real estate sector, which is always a problem, of course, because the German real estate sector is very, very big, but it was lacking a representation, especially for the capital market-driven companies. And most of the big companies are already member of uh, the German Property Federation. In addition, we have more than 20 asso associations which deal with real estate issues as well. So uh, I think we, we reached... Uh, our goal to some extent, at least we are the one representation for all this financial regulation stuff. So much about uh, CIA, Zentraler Immobilienausschuss, as it's called. So um, how do we got to the German BaFin consultation? Uh, Germany is supposed to transform uh, AIFMD like all others do. They started the process comparatively early from what I know. Other European countries are not that far perhaps, but still uh, too late to discuss, to this, discuss the whole issue in uh, the necessary depth. Actually, they launched the first discussion paper uh, in the summer vacation of 2012. It hit us, me in Italy especially, and we had to kickstart because uh, what it contains, this discussion paper, was uh, catastrophic to some extent. Besides the, the mere one-to-one -one transformation of AIFMD, uh, the German government uh, wanted to have some new regulation, especially regarding closed end, uh, end investment funds, which is open end funds and special funds, special funds and which in the end uh, would have resulted in a complete abolition of a a uh, vehicle which has, by and large, proved to be uh, useful for the for the market. So, um, this open-ended and special investment funds uh, were supposed to appear completely in its original form. Only stock companies, which are to some extent foreign, as we heard, to to the German uh, private uh, investors at least, and limited liability companies, lim uh, limited liability partners were allowed vehicles to act uh, on the real estate, uh, on the regulated real estate market. Um, it contained absolutely no clarification of the scope of application, which is our main problem right now. But we had to address these first problems um, at the beginning to 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 stop regulation which would be would have been a devastating effect on on the real estate capital market uh, and we could not deal very much with the scope uh, at least until uh, autumn october november last year we were quite successful the first draft bill in december 2012 contained various changes 
um, which basically kept investment funds alive, um, which contained a number of other useful changes, some more or less useful at least, but at least uh, it didn't have such a big impact on the, on the market. So we were quite successful. But alas, we did not uh, get any more ideas about what the scope of application of this bill and the, the Transformation Act was supposed to be, at least uh, uh, in for, for the companies we are now interested in, the, which is the, um, the listed companies. It's clear, closed-end funds and investment funds are regulated by FMD. Um, but we do not, not still know what listed companies are treated. At least we could not get any further clarification from our legis uh, legislator, uh, always referencing to, to Brussels and saying we don't get any more from Brussels and we have to, to transform uh, the scope of application regulation um, uh, in in compliance with the AFMD, otherwise we get you know we we we, we will get a, a court a suit. Uh, so uh, we leave it to the Bafin to clarify um, what we don't know and actually what Br Brussels, meaning the European Commission, uh, doesn't know either. Um, we got some help from ESMA, as you all know. ESMA um, had a quite a good technical uh, key concept paper. Uh, which was of course reviewed by by everybody, but uh, it's still a, a just a ESMA paper, and it's not mandatory for BaFin or or um, the German Ministry of Finance. Um, very important, and I think uh, not much attention has been drawn to to the Tax Adjustment Act uh, that was that became necessary with AIFMD transformation. Uh, there was a tra draft bill uh, at the same date. Uh, in December last year, um, but it turned out that or it, it still is a much bigger problem by now than um, the AFMD transformation. Bafin was asked to clarify the scope, which is a bit unusual that a German Behörde clarifies the scope of a piece of legislation, but that's the way it is, and it is in all other European countries. Uh, I think it's, just that it's the same. Um, the German term for AIF is investment vermögen. This was uh, the term Bafin tried to interpret. They published a consultation paper in March 2013. This is the paper uh, we are all referring to right now. Uh, and they did what they could. Uh, of course, they, they took notice of the ESMA criteria and tried to at least to, to be a little more precise on, on uh, some key concepts of the ESMA paper. And two of them were a um, the defined investment policy issue, and the other was a German, uh, the German specific addition to uh, uh, to the wording, um, which says that no operating business outside the financial sector um, is supposed to be an investment vermögen or AIF. But let me come back to the defined investment policy. This is something uh, AIFMD contained already. Esmar has given us some, some more idea, and this is, and I have written down an, a, a, a self-made translation of the Bafin paper. This is what it says and what uh, finally produced some confusion. Um, the, the existence of a defined investment policy requires that all criteria according to which the capital is to be invested are to be precisely determined in written form and in a manner exceeding the general business strategy. So we have the difference between uh, investment strategy, investment policy and business strategy. Um, therefore, defined investment policy as opposed to business strategy is characterized by the extent to which investment criteria are to determined and the limitations of the freedom of the IIFM to manage the fund that are laid down in the investment terms of the articles of association. So far, so good. Um, the problem um, arises. I mean, this is something that is uh, um, laid down in the ESMA quite, uh, in the ESMA paper as well, and this this is fine. Um, the problems are to be seen when we come to listed property. In responding to our claim that the scope of application in the AFMD transformation bill was not clear, Parliament 
amended it by a wording that said no operating business outside the financial sector uh, is supposed to be an AIF. This was very nice, but actually it didn't help very much. Um, what does BaFin says? It says, in particular, in the real estate sector, the question arises what activities are operative. That's true. The operation of property will be regarded an operative activity regardless of whether such operation is conducted directly or indirectly. That's fine. Project development, design, acquisition, development, and subsequent sale of the developed property will also be regarded as operated activity. But, and this is really, really important, not only for AIFMD transformation, but for other issues as well. The mere acquisition, lease, and management, as well as the sale of property, however, are no operative activities. That was bad news for all our real estate managers who considered to be operative. So why does BaFin think they are not operative? BaFin is only looking at what the German open-ended funds are doing. And they well, they manage, they, they buy, they lease, and they, they, uh, they sell a property. Uh, and they are funds. So uh, all this is fund activity. And what do REIT managers do? They buy, they lease, they manage, and they sell property. So that must be fund activities. This is what BaFin thinks. And, I, and you see, uh, it's certainly a problem of education. Of course, open-ended funds are operating companies to some extent. The difference between funds and corporates uh, cannot be, must not be drawn on such a differentiation, which is very, very uh, poor. So, um, this is what is in the paper still. It's broken down to in the, in the F&A list, question of Q&A, uh, question and answers, and it especially says to listed companies, statute, if the statutory purpose of the business activities is the acquisition, the lease, the management, and the sale of property, this is no operating activity, and any distinction from investment funds can only be made using the term investment strategy as opposed to business strategy. If the business purpose of such company is broad and no further investment criteria are laid down, a mere business strategy can be assumed. That's quite nice for the listed companies, and it shows the way out, actually. Um, but the bad news still is you are a fund, but if you don't have a defined investment strategy, then you are still... Uh, not part of AFMD um, transformation. This is okay. Um, of course, some of our listed companies will have to revise their statutes. Uh, it was not okay for, for REITs, because as you can see here, as with other listed properties, companies, the distinction must be drawn between business strategy on the one hand and defined investment policy on the other, but here we go. The business purpose of a REIT company is determined by Section 1 uh, REIT Gesetz, uh, the German REIT Act, as the degree of itemization in Section 1 REIT Gesetz is comparable to a real estate investment fund. REITs pursue a defined investment policy rather than a business strategy. Thus, they are to be, con to be considered as an investment fund according to Section 1 of the KAGB. This, this means Kapitalanlage Gesetzbuch, uh, this is actually the, the, the German word for the um, AIFMD Transformation Act, the, at least the core piece of it. So, this was the big news, which triggered the Financial Time uh, publication. We, we had a meeting with BaFin about two days before the publication of this consultation paper. Uh, what we felt in discussing this, specifically this issue, was that uh, Buffin didn't feel very comfortable, but they had a. Only, it was only a technical interpretation. They were looking on uh, on open-ended fund business. They had not much experience. They did not find any way out of um, of the definition. Uh, although they confirmed us several times that actually they wanted to avoid. Um, making real estate investment trusts, AIFs, and listed property. But I didn't see any way out. Um, but we felt there was room for, uh, for uh, discussion. And then we uh, 
gave our statement. We asked EPRA, NARID, uh, a few more investors to contribute. In the end, <laughs> Bafin received 300 submissions on the consultation paper, which is just one p p consultation paper out of a uh, number more uh, in transforming and explaining um, AI-FMD transformation in Germany. But I think Buffen was basically overwhelmed about the response they received, a worldwide response. As you know, the, the real estate uh, investment trust sector in Germany is very small. They considered uh, it to be not such a big economic problem. And now they have seen uh, REITs are a very big sector, European-wide, worldwide, uh, and it cannot simply be disregarded. And so they had to deal with it. Uh, and actually they did. So um, after all, um, I'm very hopeful and very confident that we could get BaFin uh, to a statement basically on the same intellectual level uh, that most other national regulators have, meaning REITs are not as such alternative investment funds, but they are dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, and we looked, what do they have? What is the statutory purpose? Uh, do they have an investment strategy or not? But the mere, um, the mere Section cited section in the Reed Gazette is uh, not sufficient to make it an IIF. This is what I think will be the outcome of the consultation process. So I'm very confident that uh, Bafin is not as crazy. The only regulation that is a regulator that is crazy in Europe. Uh, but we of course we we indicated that they might have a, uh, a very might occupy a very lonely place. Uh, within European regulators. And I think that make them rethinking the whole issue. What is the impact on investment? I already mentioned that we have um, a tax problem. Um, the AFMD transformation requires uh, changes in the tax uh, regime. We have a special act, a new bill, AFM Tax Adjustment Act. And this is a big problem. Um, you know that general elections are looming in Germany. Um, the end of the legislative period is coming nearer. Um, so we have just a few weeks um, to finalize all legislative um, projects the current government still has, and one of them is the Tax Adjustment Act. We are very confident that IFM transformation uh, will be finished by July 2021 20, or 22. We are not in the same way confident for the tax adjustment. What does that mean? If the Tax Adjustment Act does not enter into force before the termin termination of the legislative period, um, we actually don't have any tax treatment in Germany because the, the um, AIFMD, the, the, the current tax legislation refers to the German Investment Act and this will be replaced by the F AIFMD uh, Transformation Act. So it will not be in existence. Um, the worst outcome could be we have no special tax regime for funds in Germany, um, which would mean that about two, two trillion assets um, would be would have to pay a corporate tax. Actually, that will not uh, happen. Um, I'm very confident that the German Ministry of Finance will create some sort of provisional uh, um, whatever piece of legislation or um, even administrative directions, directives uh, to, to deal with this problem. But this is still a risk. Uh, we are not sure what's going on. We don't know if this act will be enacted uh, timely enough, and we don't know what uh, what the, the German Ministry of Finance is going to do. Um, okay, what, what other impact is to be expected if, for whatever reason, Bafin uh, is not going uh, the right way, meaning REITs will be AIFs. Um, some of the REITs will perhaps not survive 
And if other listed companies are going to be REITs, they may not survive because they are too small and they just can't afford to transform this financial regulation. Um, so there will be less investments, of course. <laughs> Um, the other, perhaps even bigger problem is uh, what happens to all the to, um, foreign REITs uh, and listed company who want to invest in Germany or want to offer uh, and market their shares. Um, well, as you all know, this is uh, in great detail regulated by the AIFMD regulation. This will be um, a big problem, of course. Um, but as I said, and this is why I haven't elaborated this very much, that uh, um, I'm very confident that we will, in the end, do not have this problem. So this is the good news. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm happy to receive questions, perhaps afterwards or right now on the, on the panels. Thank you very much.